Craving a $5 foot long from Subway? Well, before you march into your nearest location, you may want to watch this video. We have reason to believe this long-standing sandwich station hasn't been entirely honest with us over the years. Here are the 10 biggest lies Subway told its customers. For years, Subway has been touting its supposedly fresh, quality ingredients as what sets it apart from your standard fast food fare. Here's to choice, to making your voice be heard, to getting exactly what you want. In fact, one of Subway's best-known marketing efforts is its Eat Fresh campaign. Still, that phrase is a bit of a misnomer when you really stop to think about it. That's because a lot of Subway's food is prepackaged, and some of that food is actually delivered to the store frozen if some former employees can be believed. In 2018, Business Insider spoke to several Subway franchise owners who revealed that they only receive one or two shipments of produce per week, and it's usually a lot of low-quality produce that won't stay fresh for more than a few days. One former worker confessed that about half of the vegetables we used were far from fresh. Another franchise owner described the produce as mushy and rotting. Other employees told Business Insider that the meats are allegedly delivered pre-cooked and pre-sliced. It all sounds pretty gross, to be honest. Employees claim the meats smell horrible when they open the packaging. Employees also claim they're required to microwave the prepared meats when customers don't want their sandwiches toasted. Perhaps the powers that be hope that warming the meat keeps it looking and smelling fresh. You know how Subway is famous for that intoxicating fresh-baked bread smell? Well, it supposedly comes from the chain's bread loaves baking away at all hours of the day. Like garlic, dash of oregano, a pinch of rosemary. Sounds like a great sandwich. Sandwich? That was just the bread. Indeed, Subway's menu does claim their sandwiches are made on fresh-baked bread. Unfortunately, that's not entirely true. You see, Subway's dough might be baked on site, but it's apparently not freshly made at all. In fact, it shows up at the store as frozen dough. As a former employee wrote on Reddit, Subway fresh baked bread is actually frozen breadsticks that turn into dough when they thaw. Subway's cookies are also supposedly delivered to the store as frozen balls of dough. Oh, and it might be a lie to even call this stuff bread. In 2020, a court in Ireland ruled that Subway's bread can't actually be legally defined as bread. Not in that country, anyway. That's because its sugar content is just too high. Oh, and that includes the wheat bread, too. Some Subway locations don't seem overly concerned with quality control. Former employees say food is kept well past its expiration date, with some ingredients simply being prepackaged to increase the shelf life and save on costs. This includes fresh ingredients like lettuce, packaged chips, and drinks. Sometimes, employees say they're asked to change the date on product labels to mask their distinct lack of freshness. Of course, serving expired food isn't corporate Subway policy, so this issue likely varies from franchise to franchise. But it's worth noting that every single Subway location is franchise-owned. As for these alleged orders to keep old food, some employees say they come from the top down. Some employees have reportedly had their jobs threatened if they don't fall in line. When we consider what makes food healthy, natural ingredients are on the top of the list. That's why some consumers might feel duped when it comes to Subway's promise to only sell healthy, nutritious ingredients. Well, the chain reportedly fell short of that promise. In fact, Subway faced some serious heat when it was revealed that a chemical in the chain's bread is also used to make yoga mats. The chemical is called azodicarbonamide, and it's used to make the bread stronger to strengthen the bread. Fortunately, Subway removed this ingredient in 2014. A year after the controversy, the company announced it was changing all its recipes removing all additives, artificial colors, and preservatives. Subway's all-natural menu debuted in 2017, but what on earth were we eating before then? You'd think food safety would be a top priority for Subway brass, but allegedly that's not always the case. On its website, Subway states that, our workers are required to always follow strict hand-washing procedures and proper glove usage for all food handling processes. But accounts from current and former Subway employees detail all kinds of potential safety issues when it comes to handling the food. One former employee says they'll never eat at the chain again after working there, claiming that, they don't wash the tomatoes, they go right from that crate they come in from Mexico with all the dirt all over them into the slicer. Then they use that slicer to slice your deli meat without cleaning it first. According to other reports, some workers don't change their gloves as often as they should. Oh, and the sauce bottles are reportedly only refilled and never cleaned out. What's more, the chicken allegedly isn't thawed properly. And while we're on the subject of painfully disgusting Subway gossip, one worker said their manager knowingly put food in bacteria-infested buckets. Subway's $5 foot-long campaign must be one of the chain's most notable flubs. The chain first rolled out the promotion in 2007, promising 12-inch subs for just 5 bucks. This was a big hit with customers, especially since the recession was making people tighten the purse strings. There was also a jingle that was totally impossible to get out of your head. Forgive us for this next clip.
Suffice to say, customers were taken aback when Subway upped the price of its footlongs to $6 in 2016. By way of explanation, Subway only said that, our costs have gone up greatly. In 2018, Subway tried to bring back the $5 footlongs, but the chain just ended up disappointing people. The company announced a new footlong promotion in January of that year, pricing the subs at $4.99. Mere months later, the company walked back those plans and said it wasn't going to force its many franchises to honor the promotion. As it turns out, Subway was facing a bunch of pushback from the franchise owners, who said the deal would cut into their already small profit margins. At the end of the day, the $5 footlong turned out to be nothing more than a broken promise and a catchy yet irritating jingle. Some customers claim that Subway's footlong subs aren't actually one foot long. In 2013, a customer posted a Facebook photo showing that a Subway footlong only measured 11 inches. This sparked some serious outrage online. It's a footlong controversy that continues to grow. Are Subway's footlong sandwiches really 12 inches long? If not, should they be? Upon learning this, a group of disgruntled sandwich lovers decided to sue Subway for damages over the perceived deception, demanding that the company change its practices. At the time, Subway released a statement to HuffPost, which read in part, the 11-inch sandwich in the viral Facebook photo was an isolated case in which the bread preparation procedures were unfortunately not followed. But when the lawsuit was filed, the plaintiff's lawyer said he'd personally measured sandwiches from over a dozen different Subway shops, and none of them measured the full 12 inches. By 2016, Subway was evidently tired of all the bad publicity and decided to settle the suit. The powers that be agreed to make sure that footlongs were indeed 12 inches by using a device to measure its bread. The chain wound up paying more than half a million dollars in legal fees. Subway has always marketed itself as a healthier fast food option above all other choices, but that just isn't true. Tired of heavy meals? <laughs> Try Subway. A peek at Subway's nutritional information shows that many items and ingredients are loaded with calories, fat, and added sugars. For example, some of Subway's bread options will run you nearly 500 calories before you add a single topping. Some of the wraps are close to 1,000 calories. Oh, and the tuna sandwich? It's packed with 50 grams of fat. In fact, one study found that eating at Subway can be just as bad for you as eating at McDonald's, at least as far as calorie consumption is concerned. The study showed that an average McDonald's meal packed around 1,038 calories, while Subway meals averaged around 955 calories. Is Subway successfully fooling customers into believing their food is healthier than other fast food chains? According to a Harvard study, consumers tend to dramatically underestimate how many calories are present in fast food, but this disparity was reportedly most conspicuous among Subway consumers. Since its early days, Subway has said that providing exceptional service is one of its core values, claiming that these values continue to serve as the foundation for Subway restaurants around the world. However, it seems like Subway has fallen short on that promise on more than one occasion. That's not a surprise, considering the chain reportedly pumps out 5,300 sandwiches every minute around the world. Some Subway customers have taken to the internet to ask why employees at the chain always seem rude or depressed. One customer dedicated an entire episode of his crafting vlog to rant about the terrible customer service he'd experienced at Subway. And on the site, customer service scoreboard, Subway gets just 27.68 out of 200 possible points. Out of the nearly 800 user comments about the company, about 95% are negative. That's presumably the same percentage of viewers who dislike this old Subway ad. Word to the wise, Subway employees may lie right to your face if you're not careful. There are an estimated 38 million Subway sandwich combinations, and some of them must be pretty tedious to put together. Some Subway employees have confessed online that they've lied to customers when it's too much of a hassle to make their sandwich, or if they don't feel like making the sandwich, or if they just don't feel like going in the back to get more avocados. Hey, it happens. Oh, and beware the so-called light mayo. One Subway employee reportedly confessed that, most of the time, whenever the light mayo bottle ran out, my manager would just tell me to fill it with regular mayonnaise. This is pretty common in a lot of stores. Well, we certainly hope against hope that this isn't true. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Mash videos about your favorite fast food chains are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.